It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC South. It's the Jags and the Titans, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon God on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? all set and we are underway from Nashville Tennessee here's Chris Clay Brooks to return and he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line the Jacksonville offense getting ready to begin this first drive and at the helm the number one overall pick back in April Trevor Lawrence the rookie out of Clemson for so long the Jacksonville Jaguars have been seeking their franchise quarterback and they believe they've got their guy now how about this, 38-2 in his collegiate career, won a national championship his freshman season, and the only losses he ever suffered during the college football playoffs. Had to have a little bit of surgery in the offseason, but this is a guy who's locked in on football, has everything you're looking for in a quarterback. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Lofted at second and 24. Now Lawrence. That's sacked by the DN, Danico Autry. Boy, how long here just to try and get some space. And indeed, that's what they'll do as they run it here. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Well, they did live here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Titans are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over first and 10. Here comes the Tennessee offense, and you see Ryan Tannehill leading them out. And the former Miami Dolphin had a career renaissance in 2019 with Tennessee and carried it over into 2020. A career-high 32 touchdowns, just seven interceptions, and those were the fewest he's thrown in a full season. And speaking of full seasons, he played all 16 games for the first time since 2015. He's got to be excited about 2021. The first carry for Jeremy McNichols. Broke through some contacts, but unable to reach the 40. And the tackle made a shotgun snap for Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into ten. First carry for Carlos Hyde. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog. On second down now. 
It's Robinson. And yeah, this will be a Jaguars first down as he gets this up past the 30. Every time I see James Robinson make a he was in 2020, he expects that to continue in 2021. Yeah. Buying time to his left. He'll get five out of the scramble in second down. And we have to give credit to him for on second down, high. And able to get this one across the 45 Good before he's brought Let's down. Go. Let's go. That O line, they put downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Lawrence with the handoff to Robinson. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. From the gun, a gift to Hyde. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? They'll run here with Robinson. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. First and 10. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And that might be Titan football. It is. The Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 46. They'll start on the ground with McNichols. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Out of the gun, Tannehill. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Field goal from 55. They start on the ground with Robinson here. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Another scouting report on him. Well, here's second and eight. They'll run it now with Robinson. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manager. Extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Harold Landry picks up his second. To throw is Tannehill. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Seven yards, the pick up there. Here to connect on second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a free. Here's McNichols. And three yards there, takes him to the 45 and 10. Back to throw, Tannehill. He's going to loft one, deep left side here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Lurley would like to erase that video and those four sacks that they've seen so far. Lawrence's throw into the hands of the receiver, Chanel. And right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. Second and eight. Lawrence will throw. That's caught. It's Dan Arnold, the tight end. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Looking to throw, Lawrence. And this is going to be incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way. Here's Tannehill. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back. Now Lawrence. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Well, the obviously red man to run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Lawrence to throw. 
He finds his running back, Hyde, and to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That'll leave him with a third and two cut. Here's Lawrence. It's complete to Laquan Treadwell. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised. It's their first and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. Harold Landry, get it running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything. Lawrence. Oh, he's going to go for it all. Right there, Chenault for the Jacksonville touchdown. LaVisca Chenault, 53 yards. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, we saw Trevor Lawrence take plenty of deep shots in his days at Clemson, and he shows off that cannon of an arm here as a rookie at the NFL level. And as that ball was hanging in the air with the receiver streaking downfield to meet it, here in the stadium, you can just sense the crowd thinking, oh, no. And their worst fears were realized as that one turned into a long touchdown. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And that makes the score 7-0. One for five to this point. This is third and ten. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll hit the deck, but he did not get there. Five yards at the spirit. Charles, Charles hates it. And has given me the evil eye, folks. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting here. It's third and two. On the run, it's Robinson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist. Four verts, right? Hey, why not? Four verts. <laughs> One of the best routes in football. Hard to cover each guy all the way along the route. So far, just one catch for him. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. To the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Play action. It's Tannehill. Open man is Fitzpatrick. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. To the air again, Tannehill. This will be caught by Brown. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 30-yard attempt. Right hash. And Bullock will put this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow still continuing to fall as we are back underway. Ready to return. Here's Hilliard. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at the 20. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defense is because... Barring a conversion here on third down. They'll get this complete to Fitzpatrick. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
five going. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And now here's a carry heading left. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line. That incompletion on second down. Back to throw, Tannehill. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds in 10. They'll try the left side. It's Robinson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 50 yards rushing for him now. In the ball game. Right back to him on first down. Pushes past him. And this will be a Jaguars first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. On third down, Lawrence. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Danico Autry able to disrupt the most evil unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. To throw is Tannehill. He's going to air one out. And that almost intercepted. Oh, they would have loved to have their first. And off comes to high. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I don't know what this says about me, but I love success. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Finds the open target, Arnold. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team. On third down, Robinson. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Lawrence. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we got third and five or less, we have to. They're trailing right now, probably trying to generate some momentum. But that felt like one of those go for broke type of a plays in a situation where I don't know that they needed to do that. They still have opportunities. And in this case, they took a chance and it backfired. You run your second down play. Again, it's McNichols as they stay on the ground. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. But we always talk about good down play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Tannehill. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A big Bullock now for the Titan field goal. Bullock's kick is good. And they'll get it back with a point at 7-6. So three points there, and CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. The slant to Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Let's go! Blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll... And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jeffrey Simmons able to get in there for his one-yard gain. They run again with McNichols. And he's got some space here. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 62 yards. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And then... Now Lawrence. They go screen pass to Hyde. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. And the grab made by the tight end Pruitt. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a... Now it's McNichols. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 73 yards, second and 10. 
Here's Tannehill. This will be caught by Brown. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big connection on that one. 15 following the delay of game. Off play action, Tannehill. They'll roll him out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get... To throw on second down is Tannehill. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone right now on third down. Here's Tannehill. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this carry brought to an end at the eight. Good stick skills, just not much room there to hop. Hands it off out of the gun. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. It's... Here's a handoff out of the gun. And this time he is in. Yes. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have taken the lead. On third down and short and everything well executed. He not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action yet. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Tannehill going to throw for it. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver, ball's put on him, two points for them. First down, Lawrence. He finds his man complete. It's Arnold. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They run the counter. Robinson. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. I definitely like the play call. You don't explore football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Jeffrey Simmons. He's back to throw. Flush to his right, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Jaguar is going to go ahead and go for it here on fourth down. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. And a really unbelievable play there on fourth and long. On the defensive side of the ball, that's the definition of frustrated. You get them to fourth down, and then you allow a chunk play like that in the passing game. Almost felt as if that play was drawn up in the dirt on the sideline. They pulled that from a game plan that wasn't this game, and they still made it work. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get... He'll look to throw. And this is incomplete. Couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that. Back to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Jones. 
Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. It didn't check off every box, but the most fourth down. They hand off to their big tight end. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. The Jaguars running in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. A final shot now for Lawrence. And it's caught. It's a touchdown with zeros on the clock. And an extra point will send us to OT. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. He's had some decking and 11. First throw in overtime for Tannehill. He's got his tight end, Anthony Ferkser. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of it. From the gun, here's Tannehill. He's got a man. It's Berkshire, the tight end. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And, that's... and to give this time to the tailback. And he's got this down to the 35. Partner, this is a pretty good drive there. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. One hop. And it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. And they take a 17-14 lead. They're able to put three on the board here in the opening drive of OT, and now up to their defense. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. On second down. It's Robinson, and he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. On third down, Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. Down. They're going on fourth down, Lawrence. And this one is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. 
And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Well, partner, there's something special about a game in the snow. Just always fun in these elements, although a little chillier up here in the open-air booth. The only thing that's not fun is that we got the mid-game notification that our <laughs> flight was canceled tonight, but we'll deal with that later. It was really a fun game to watch, though. It was, and there is something special about games played in the snow because the element of surprise really kicks in. You don't know how they're going to handle the ball, if someone's going to make a dramatic play just out of nowhere, and all of a sudden it just changes the course of things but a big shout out to our crew